What's up guys, it's Crazy Boy Aaron here, and I am back doing a review, and uh, yes, this is my new kind of setup. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it this way. Um, you guys can let me know if you like the way this looks. I mean, I think it's fine, um, and um, I'm not sure if I'll still be doing my format for reviews that I've been doing recently. I probably will still be doing them. I still will be doing this format where you just, you know, look at my face as I talk about the book. Um, so I can do both formats if you guys want. So yeah, let me know what you think of this setup. So today we will be talking about three books, um, and they are part of the Terry Levinson trilogy of books, or the... Adventures of Middle School trilogy of books. I don't know whatever you want to call them. I will be reviewing Invisible Emmy Positively Izzy and Just Jamie today. So first up we're going to talk about Invisible Emmy Written by Terry Libinson, which came out in 2017. Invisible Emmy is about two girls named Emmy and Katie. Emmy is the quiet shy girl while Katie is the popular outgoing athletic kind of girl. Their lives end up crossing one day when an embarrassing love note made by Emmy ends up in the wrong hands. Now I have to say, right off the bat, Invisible Emmy is easily one of the best books I have ever read. What makes it so good is the fantastic writing and the terrific message that the book has. Emmy is a great character, and in many ways I can actually relate to a lot of the stuff that happens to her in this book. If I had one problem with this book is that her friend Brianna can get a little bit unlikable at times, but that was just a few moments. It wasn't like the entire book she's unlikable. I'm not gonna go super in depth with this review because honestly, this is not a book that I would wanna have ruined for me. I didn't know anything about this go book going into it and I came out pleasantly surprised. I wouldn't recommend that you read or watch any reviews of this book. Um, just read it because this is honestly a fantastic book, and yes, without spoiling it, the ending was fantastic and I definitely didn't see it coming. I'm going to give Invisible Emmy a 9 out of 10. Yeah, Invisible Emmy is a terrific book and is a good starting point for this series. Moving on to the second book. Positively Izzy is not a direct sequel to Invisible Emmy, but it does use some of the same characters like Brianna and Emmy and introduces us to Izzy, our sort of main character. Once again, just like the last book, this has two different perspectives to read from, Brianna and Izzy, as the two are both going to be in the talent show. Now first off, I have to say that this book really makes me appreciate Brianna more as a character, way more than the last one did, probably because this one goes more in depth with her character. Brianna's mom wants her to be in the talent show, and wants her to be involved more in drama and stuff like that, but Brianna wants nothing to do with it. She is not interested in it, but she eventually is forced to do it. On the other hand, you have Izzy, who really wants to be in the talent show, but her mom actually isn't letting her because of how her grades have been declining, and this results in a lot of drama. I absolutely love how this book is a mirror image of the two characters with one having the other thing that the other one wants. Again, I'm not going to go super in depth with this, um, but I will say that I thought it was really good. I mean, it's it's well written just like the last one, and it's just the characters are great. And yeah, I would absolutely recommend this to anyone. I'm going to give Positively Izzy a nine out of 10. Just Jamie is the newest installment in this series having just come out recently this year. Just Jamie is about the main characters, Jamie and her best friend, Maya. And their relationship in this book is sort of rocky as Maya and her friends are very different compared to Jamie. Well, Maya and her friends enjoy more grown-up kind of teenage stuff, Jamie still wants to just be a kid. And that's what causes this sort of breakup in their friendship. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't think Just Jamie was all that interesting. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad book by any means. I just didn't find it as interesting as the other two. 
it actually took me a while to finish this book. This is still a well-written book, it's just not as good as the other two. And I still, I like Jamie as a character, and the twist at the end is good, but it's not as huge as the twists in the other two books. I'm going to give just Jamie a 7 out of 10. So those were my thoughts on the Adventures of Middle School trilogy series so far. Um, I look forward to more in the series. I really, really like these books, um, especially Invisible Emmy. I mean, that's my favorite. It's one of the best books I've ever read, easily. So let me know what your thoughts on these books are if you've read them. Um, look forward to no more reviews coming soon. I have um, some more graphic novels like these that I plan to review. Um, this book was, uh, w these books were supposed to be reviewed earlier in the month, but I just, you know, stuff got in the way. I just, uh, I just <laughs> was trying to work on the review and yeah, I didn't get it up till now. So with that being said, thanks for watching and have yourselves a good night.